Hello everybody and welcome back to another CB Show Tunes video. Now today what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be creating a video game in 10 minutes. Now this of course was inspired by Bracky's challenge of actually creating a video himself. That was a super cool video and if you actually want to check that out, go ahead and do that because that was like really awesome. Uh, but today what we're going to do is we're actually going to be creating our own video game in 10 minutes. Uh, so this is going to be a very basic game. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right, so without further ado, as you can see, we now have a 10 minute timer right here and we're going to go ahead and get started. So here we go, boom, we are ready to go. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a cube. We're gonna reset the position and we're going to simply change the X to two, change the Y to 0.25 and we're gonna change the Z to two, awesome. So now we're gonna go ahead and copy the same cube. We're gonna just drag it sideways a little bit. Uh, do the same thing over and over again till we're satisfied with our level size. Uh, we can add some variations in here if we want. Um, I'm not really going to do that just now. Uh, I mean, if we have time later on, I'll do that. But um, we really don't got time right now. So uh, we also need to set up a win point. So that's what this is right here. Our little win point. Awesome. And we're going to rename this as win point. Uh, get win point. Awesome. Uh, drag that last cube on there. Uh, you'll see why inside a minute, uh, but uh, we're going to also create a capsule. Uh, we're going to reset its position as well, uh, drag it up a little bit. This is going to be called our player, and on this player, we're going to add a rigid body. Uh, we're going to open this up. We're going to add a constraint. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Okay, so now we have our player set up. We also need to uh, set up a, another cube. We're going to reset its position, and we're going to simply drag it down a little bit. And this is going to be our reset cube. We're going to press T to be able to allow ourselves to use this nifty looking tool, just like so. And we're going to scale on our Z by like 20, I think. Okay, awesome. Uh, we're also going to set this to is trigger. Uh, we're going to remove our mesh collider. Awesome. And I don't think I actually set this to is trigger on the win point. So let me double check that. Uh, yeah, on our win point, we need to set is trigger as well. Okay, so I'm going to call this reset cube. Okay, so now we have our player win point, all that sort of cool stuff. So let's go ahead and set up our script for our player. So we're going to create a C sharp script. We're going to call this player. Now, hopefully Visual Studios uh, works really well and it speeds up. Uh, okay, we're at about seven, eight minutes. Um, ooh, cool. Visual Studios is actually working out pretty good right now. Okay, so we're going to create a public float. We're going to call this speed. Uh, we're also going to head over here. We're going to create a variable called x. We're going to say it's equal to input.getAxis. And we're going to grab our horizontal axis. We're going to multiply this horizontal axis by our speed, multiply that by time dot delta time, boom, just like that. All right, so now our player is capable of moving. We also need to set up the ability to actually um, adjust this position. So we're going to say transform.translate. We're going to put x comes to a zero, comes to a zero, boom, just like that. Okay, so now our character is capable of movement. Let's go and grab our player, make sure that this thing compiles, and okay, awesome. So we're going to drag that there, set this to about uh, maybe five. Okay, so we now have our player set up. Let's go and create our reset script. So we're going to call this reset. So there we go. Open that up. And with this, uh, we actually don't need any of this right here. We're just going to create a public transform. We're going to call this uh, reset pose. And then we're going to create a void on trigger enter. And we're going to say other dot transform dot position is equal to reset pose dot position. So now we're going to be resetting a position whenever we hit this collider. So that's awesome. Okay, so we're going to go over to this reset cube and we're going to drag our reset on there um, once it compiles, of course. So boom, we now have a reset. Uh, we also need to set up our respawn point. So we're going to create an empty on our game object or on our player object. Come on. And uh, we're going to call this reset point. Okay, we're going to drag that out now. And we're going to drop our reset point on it here. Uh, we're also going to drag. Oh, we don't want our player. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Okay, we need to grab our reset point right there. So, oh, gosh. I, I'm not. Okay, here we go. Whew. I, I, I'm freaking out here. Okay, so here we go. We're going to set our reset uh, point onto our reset script on our reset cube. 
There we go. Now we're in business. Okay, so uh, we also need to do something with our reset uh, point. Uh, is we need to change the velocity. So we're going to say other dot velocity or other dot get component rigid body dot velocity is equal to a vector three dot zero. So we're going to be removing our uh, velocity. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so now we have our reset pose working perfectly. Um, you'll be able to see it in a minute, of course, but we're going to create a C-sharp script, and we're going to call this our win. So with our win, it's simply going to display if we won or not. So all we're going to do is create a public game object, uh, and we're going to call this win text. And win text on start is going to equal false. So we're going to say win text dot set active as false, uh, just like so. Then we're going to copy this, control C. We're going to now put void on trigger enter. Uh, we're going to set this equal to true. Uh, and then we're also going to put void on trigger exit. Uh, we're going to set it equal to false. So just in case we uh, leave it, then we're going to, you know, set it to false. Awesome. Okay, so um, on trigger enter, we're going to set when active is equal to true, and then we're going to uh, need to find our uh, reset position, so public uh, transform, and we're going to call this reset pose. And we're just going to copy our reset right here. We're just going to press control C, go over to win, and we're just going to drop it here, just like so. Okay, so now we have this um, true for a couple seconds, or it basically tells you that you're true, and then, of course, it's going to reset you. Um, but we don't want it to reset immediately. Oh, well, we got three minutes. Actually, we're just going to take that. We're, we're not even going to worry about resetting like that. Okay, so uh, let's head back over in here. We're going to create a... Uh, UI uh, text. See, there's so much things that I want to do here, but I, I can't do it because we don't really got the time. Uh, but okay, we're going to just call this win text. So we're going to go here. So I'll select that. You win. We're going to roll down. We're going to set this to centered. We're going to set this to about 100. And we're going to go over to our canvas. We're going to make sure that it is set to scale with screen size. Awesome. Uh, we're going to go over to a res our, uh, our win point, we're going to drag our win script on there. We're going to grab our uh, text. We're going to drag it on there. I forgot to erase that one part of the script. So we're going to erase that. Boom, boom. I don't got time for that. And we also need to create a uh, physics material. We're going to call that bounce. Hopefully it loads up. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, we're going to set the dynamic to zero, static to zero, bounciness to one. Set the friction combined to minimum. Set the bounce the maximum. Uh, we're going to grab all of our normal cubes, uh, make sure that they're just our normal ones, and we're going to add bounce to them. Awesome. And we're going to hit play. Ooh, one thing that I did forget. Oh, God, I forgot. Um, we do need to also go over to our main camera and attach it onto our player. So let's do that. Press play. And let's check it out. Okay, so, so far it's working. Um, boom. Yay, we won. Awesome. And if we fall, it resets us. Awesome. Just like that, guys, we have a working game. Uh, so let's go ahead and just customize the color. I think we got a little bit of time left, so we're going to create a material. Um, if I can find materials, come on. Uh, we're going to call this black. And let's go ahead and give it just like a black color. Give it more of a metallic shade. We're going to grab all of our cubes. So I don't know why I did that. Okay, so we're going to grab all of our cubes, drag that on there. Uh, we're also going to do it here. Uh, we're going to go and press Control D, Shift F2. We'll call this orange and give it like an orange color, uh, like so. Give it here. Give it an emission of some sort, you know, like so. Change it to about transparency. Drop the transparency down a little bit. Uh, do something like that. And we'll do it one more for the player. If we got time. Yeah, we got 40 seconds. Shift F2. Call it 
blue and let's give this a uh, bluish tone and drop it on our player and there we go guys we have made a game in 10 minutes look at that look at that guys super proud super awesome and look i mean that that is quite impressive for me i mean i think all right, make sure that you leave a comment inside the comment section below as to what you think of this game and, of course, how long it took uh, to actually get it done. And, of course, if you think you could do a whole lot better, then, of course, make sure that you also leave a comment that has a link to your video so I can go check it out because I think that this is a super fun challenge that everybody should try if you are a game dev, which is, you know, almost everybody watching this video, right? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.